Hi, I'm Farhanaz Islam. Now I have a long name, so let me say that again. I am Farhanaz Islam. I will be your GA for this course. I know some people might be a bit nervous about making a video, so I thought I'd give it a try. It really is quite easy. You can use software such as PhotoStory 3, Movie Maker, or if you're a Mac user, iMovie. Hmm, I think I'm going to try PhotoStory 3. I downloaded it off the internet and it says it only works for S XP, but it works for Windows 7 and Windows 8. I downloaded it on my Windows 7 computer. The next thing I did was I watched a tutorial video by Bill Myers on how to use PhotoStory 3. But there's so many out there. I just watched his video because it had the most views. Now the first step in PhotoStory 3 is to import pictures, so I picked my pictures first. One way to get good quality images is to go into Google Images, click on Search Tools and then click Large Images. This makes sure that your pictures don't come out grainy in the video. Remember, I'll be grading you on this. You only have one minute per slide, so make sure your video flows nicely. That means no ums, uh huh, or but us. Your video should be clear and concise. Also, make sure to turn your volume up. And if you're a very soft talker, you can go to Control Panel, Recording, Microphone, Levels, and then Microphone Boost. If you have any questions, just Google it. Let's go ahead and get started. I opened PhotoStory 3. I clicked Begin a New Story, and then I clicked Import Pictures. Now, you can get as fancy as you want. There are plenty of bells and whistles in this software. You can keep it simple or make something more elaborate. After you've imported the pictures, there's an icon that says Remove Borders. I removed them because I think it looks better. I originally dropped my pictures into PowerPoint, and then I converted them to a JPEG format, and then I imported them into PhotoStory 3. Remember, you'll be graded on how your presentation looks, and this is just one way to improve the quality of your video. Alright, now this is probably the most important section. This is where quality really matters, the narration section. After watching the tutorial, I learned you just have to click the red button to start and the button beside it to stop. Now you don't have to record everything in one instant. You can record little sections at a time. And if you don't like what you've recorded, you can hit the circular arrow button to delete. But remember, if you delete narration, it will delete all narration for that particular slide. Now, if you want to get a little fancy, you can customize motion. As you can see in this slide, I customized motion to zoom in on the dog's face. After you've completed your narration, you can click Next and that takes you to the Add Background Music section. I decided to create music. Make sure to click on the first slide before create before clicking Create Music, so it starts on the first slide. Since we're going to the beach, I chose Funk, Funk Jungle, and then Cheerful. I'm not a real fast talker, so I set the tempo slow. I recommend you try to match the tempo to the speed of your voice. After you've done your music, hit Next, and then browse to where you want to save it, so you know where to find it later. At this point, you'll upload your video to Blackboard, and that's it. It is that easy. Remember, on the next Power of Three video, you are responsible for making one discussion question for your peers to answer on Blackboard. Thanks, hope to see you at the beach.